Hello and welcome to another video, let's talk about Linux, more specifically on what kind of calculator software are available on Arch Linux. And in today's video I will discuss something I've been thinking about for a while now, and is, this is the question whether the graphical user interface calculator software are useful on a PC or not. And when I'm talking about PC here I mean like desktop and laptop computers which have an attached keyboard to it. And so for that I will take a look into the history of calculators themselves. So indulge me for a minute but watch until the end of the video where I will give some software suggestions on what to use if you want to do your calculations efficiently on Arch Linux. So first of all we know that people were using uh, paper and pen to calculate things long before the calculators came about and they had some very ingenious tools that could help them out like the slide rule which has a logarithmic scaling and sliding disks or sticks that can be used for uh, multiplication really fast because in a logarithmic scale basically multiplication becomes addition and that's a good thing. And they also had the lookup tables, which means for like trigonometric functions or exponential functions, where in the table the rows had the rows had the kind of the first few digits of the number, and then the uh, columns had the last digit, and in the cells you had the value of the function at the certain input, and maybe you had like a, some correction values at another table. I learned to use these things in school. And this is kind of slow method compared to a calculator, but you can use these tables to calculate uh, sine or cosine or tang tangent or logarithm or square root or stuff like that without a calculator. Of course the electronic calculator was a very big step forward in making calculations more precise and more fast, so on the internet I found this uh, picture of this one of the first uh, fully uh, electronic calculator from 1961. And of course, this was very big, but then the invention of like uh, the microchip calculators made it possible to use them on the battery. And then we had graphing calculators, and in the graphing calculators, the display became bigger and the functionality was much better than like the basic calculators. So the calculator was basically so primarily made to help you calculate still on paper. So you type in your uh, little functions or calculations and then you write down the result. That's basically what it for. It had like a few lines of display for a number, like most simple calculators only has one line where you see the number you are typing in and when you press the equal sign then you get the results there. A lot of uh, calculators don't follow, just uh, follow the, uh, uh, the operations linearly. Some, of course, the more advanced scientific calculators can use parentheses and can know the proper order of evaluating functions and uh, arithmetic operations. So these inputs on the calculators for that are the number keys, of course, the mathematical operations, the parentheses, trigonometric function keys, etc. Which all makes sense if you have to use this device to just type in your calculate the things you want to calculate and then to get a result and then you just write down the result on the paper. On a PC, on the other hand, we have like number keys, some mathematical operation keys like the slash for division and the asterisk for for multiplication and minus and plus signs for other and we have letters and we have a mouse. So my contention here is that uh, of course you can type in the basic operations on your numpad if you have a numpad of course or with the plus sign, minus sign, asterisk and uh, and the slash sign, of course, and then you can also type in functions if you can on the keyboard, but you have to you press more letters to get like a function 
if your calculator software lets you do that because some of them doesn't and most graphical user interface calculators you have to resolve to the mouse which will mean that you type in something move your hand to the mouse click on something then go back to the keyboard and type some other number etc which i think is very inconvenient because for example on windows 10 calculator which i of course cannot show you now the minus a keyboard or the minus key on the keyboard only uh, functions as the minus operation you cannot make like a negative number with that because the negative number is another button on the graphical user interface that you have to click with your mouse which is not nice so if we take a look at uh, the calculator software that is available on Arch Linux, we can go to the list of applications and there is this calculator uh, subsection and uh, well GNOME calculator which is for the GNOME um, desktop environment you can see this has kind of this uh, uh, stereotypical layout kcalc it also looks like a calculator that you would find on your desk and my problem is with this is basically we try to emulate uh, something that is less effective than our computer so our computer's main purpose is doing calculations basically that's what this whole thing is based on and then we use all this computing power to emulate the look and the feel of a device that is less effective than our computer and basically this limit this is going to be somewhat limiting is basically what my opinion is it is like uh, you your you you made like a, a side rule <laughs> application or you your uh, your advancement to the computer age from lookup tables would be like you have the lookup tables but in pdf format so <laughs> you can just append it in a pdf viewer and find the values of the numbers this is something i really don't appreciate what i appreciate is actually the calc software which is a command line tool you can get it from the arch links binary repositories for which is like type in pseudo pacman dash capital s calc and you will get calc software which has a lot of uh, functions built into it and uh, if we take a look at it we can just start it by typing in calc and this is how it looks like it's a calculator you can type in your uh, your mathematical arithmetical input and press enter and you will get the answer what i really like is you can use the minus key to enter negative numbers it can calculate you uh, trigonometric functions it also knows uh, complex numbers which is nice it also operates like a logarithmic it can calculate a logarithm it can calculate a exponential function it has a lot of functions it also uses variables so you can assign variables and then you can use these variables in calculations you can use the dot to get to the result of the previous calculation and uh, you can use the arrow keys up and down arrows to go back and forth in the calculation history so if you have like for some reason you want to do a similar calculation then you can do that by just going back in history and changing the numbers if you read the manual uh, this calculator software calc can be used with uh, your own custom functions so it is very uh, flexible 
it can be used very easily. I think you don't have to be a command line junkie to appreciate the straightforwardness of this software. And uh, you can use it in a not interactive way too. So let's just type in calc and then some 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 expression and it will evaluate it and then it won't enter the interactive mode. I don't think it is it is extremely useful but it can be used this way. You can calculate a lot of things with this. I really find this uh, calculator command line calculator very useful, very fast, no bloat. But of course not all graphical calculators are equally bad because there is also QCalculate or QLculate which you can also find in the Arch Linux binary repository so you can get it by just typing in sudo pacman dash capital S QLculate dash GTK and for this one let's take a look. So here we have all the number buttons that you would expect from every GUI tool with a calculator. And here we have the functions here, but you can click on these arrows to get more functions, which makes this interface a little less cluttered. But this is not the important point. The important point is that here, in this line, this is not just a display line. This is actually a command line of sort, an interactive line. You can navigate the cursor, you can change things up in the meantime, and you will get the uh, operation, uh, the order of the operations by parenthesis below this input line. You can see here that the decimal point is a comma instead of a dot, which is because in my case, I have the Hungarian locale activated on this computer and in Hungarian we use the uh, comma as the decimal point. And you could see that in the calc software it just follows the C syntax which is the dot, always using the dot. But this software actually takes care or, or cares about the settings of, in, your, um, in your locale. So it will follow your locale settings so if you have like the Hungarian locale, that means that in my numeric keyboard, the dot is actually a comma. What else? We can type in sign, for example. We can type, have a logarithm, log or ln. No, isn't ln? I think ln, yeah, ln is the lo base 2 logarithm. Not base 2, sorry, ba the natural logarithm. It just does not show up here for some reason. And then we have log, which is of course the base n logarithm, which means we can type in like, a, let's type 25, a semicolon, and let's type 5, that should be 2, and this is 2. Well, it says it's approximately 2, which is probably because it calculates uh, ar arbitrary based logarithms based on an equation which actually is just the logarithm of the... It's divided, dividing the logarithm of the this one with the logarithm of that one. You don't need to know that. But anyways, what's really nice is that you can use the uh, up arrow and down arrow to go back and forth in history. So this is very similar to this interactive command line style interface of the simple command line calc, which is a pro and not a con. This is a good thing. I like it. You can also type in like sine pi and you know like the sine of pi is zero, but if you sine of pi divided by four is this number, but if you remember from school, this number is actually one over square root of two. There is this exact function where you can get these exact numbers. Let's see. This is the exact number for pi over the sine of pi over three. And there are also different kind of fractions, decimal fractions, simple fractions, you can see like exact decimal fraction, 
simple fraction, mixed fraction, well it doesn't have a mixed fraction, but let's say 2 plus this number, this is going to be mixed or simple fraction, it's going to be exact decimal fraction looks like this, decimal fraction is same. Okay, what happens if I say 2 plus 0 0.5? This is a mixed fraction. This is the simple fraction. So you can see like there are different ways of displaying the same number here. And you can use this function for that if you want to. This uh, calculator software also knows uh, the uh, complex numbers. What a nice output here. But this is exactly just this number I typed in. So let me give, let's give me something. Isn't it uh, e to the i pi? That is very nice. Yeah, that's minus one. So you can use this. I like this calculator software, even though in general, I don't like the graphical calculators or the GUI calculator software because the main functionality relies on this. So you can see like I never even clicked any of these buttons here. I can just type in here in this command line style input and I can get my output. So this is the only uh, graphical user interface calculator I want to uh, suggest for you. And if you have anything that's uh, similar, that would, uh, you know, uh, be up to my very high standards in calculator software, then why don't you leave a comment and tell me what other calculator softwares we should use. And well, if you like this video, why don't you consider giving me a like. Or if you are interested in this kind of uh, content, just subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.